ಶ್ರೀಮತೆಭಕ್ತಿವೇದಾಂತಸ್ವಾಮಿಣ್ಯತಿಮಸ್ತೆ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ವೆರಿ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟು ನೋಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಯೋಗ ಲ್ಯಾಡರ್ which starts from karma yoga and goes till bhakti yoga there is no question of adharma there is no question of sin sinful desire forget what sin sinful desire itself is not allowed so now as soon as you say that you are part of varnashrama system practicing karma yoga that itself says you i have given up all adharma all sorts of adharma are given up all sorts of sinful desires are given up now when i was hearing this i was thinking are baap re sinful desire given up at the stage of karma yoga itself karma ke baad kya aata hai gyan yoga fir uske baad dhyan yoga rashtanga yoga and then comes and we call ourselves as bhakti yogi but karma yoga ke niche hai hum log to just think about this sinful desires if they are there in our system it means we are not qualified to do yoga yoga means to connect with the lord hmm. means we are not there in this ladder itself we are not there matlab apna we are trying to do bhakti yoga but then we are doing adharma also people in the past they were so dharmic so very dharmic that they will not get into any thought which is sinful they not get into there is no question of sinful desire there is no question they'll not think of committing any sinful activity in fact to an extent of lying also that is also not there telling a lie they would feel a lot of pain in the heart if they would tell a lie now for us if you tell if you have to tell a truth we feel oh <laughs> so much of pain so <laughs> telling a lie was a problem and if someone promises something there was no need of an agreement कि दो पार्टी आके साइन करेंगे देर इज नो नीड ऑफ दैट इफ देर इज अ प्रॉमिस गिवन इट मीन्स इट विल बी डन कहते थे ना कि मैंने वचन दिया है प्राण जाए वचन ना जाए अभी सोचिए अभी अपना कैसा है काम निकलवाने के लिए कुछ तो बोलो गेट रेड ऑफ इट दैट्स इट डन यू सी आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सम वेरी वेरी ट्रिवियल थिंग्स विच आर कंसिडर ट्रिवियल नाउ दे आर नॉट ट्रिवियल बट कंसिडर वेरी ट्रिवियल नाउ telling a lie or breaking someone's promise or whatever in the vedic times even this was followed very nicely forget about looking at uh, someone uh, else's property i'll capture someone else's property and enjoy that forget about enjoying someone else's wife no no question no question therefore as soon as we say yoga ladder the first thing is adharma is gone there is no question of sinful desire this is the first thing that takes place and this is very very important because when we are not having sinful desires and sinful reactions and sinful actions what happens is a devotee becomes focused in krishna consciousness shri shri gandharvika giridhari shriman mahaprabhu ki jai please repeat this is a nice shloka from bhagavad gita esham tvantagatam papam ಜನಾಂಪುಣ್ಯಕರ್ಮಣಾಂಪುಣ್ಯಕರ್ಮಣಾಂಪುಣ್ಯಕರ್ಮಣಾಂಪುಣ್ಯಕರ್ಮಣ
if we want to be absorbed in krishna consciousness like for example now we are here in class or we are chanting or whatever if you want to be absorbed in the angas of bhakti to be sinless is very very important if you are sinless at the level of mind speech and body absorption is easy but if you are sinful absorption is very difficult that's what krishna is saying here drada vrata they engage in my service with full determination so talking about devotees it's not that devotees want to commit sinful activity or devotees want to have sinful desire many times it so happens that information hi nahi hai ki what are sinful activities because now whatever information we get is a discussion that we have with colleagues friends whatever we had before and when it comes to reading shastra wo to hame hi pata hai kitna karte har din 10 minutes 15 minutes आश्चर्य भी हंसते रहेंगे बुक ही क्यों लिखा हम लोग ने कि दस मिनट पंद्रह मिनट पढ़ रहे लोग प्रोपज विल ऑल्सो थिंक एवरी डे आई वुड स्पेंड नाइट्स टूगेदर टू राइट बुक्स एंड लुक एट दिस बेस बॉयस लुक एट दिस डिवोटीज स्पेंडिंग जस्ट टेन मिनट्स फिफ्टीन मिनट्स सो ओनली वेन वी रीड शास्त्र वेन वी हैव डिस्कोर्सेज ऑन सर्टन टॉपिक्स देन एटलीस्ट विल गेट इन्फॉर्मेशन भाई सिन है क्या वॉट आर सिंफुल डिजायर्स sometimes devotees don't know also that what i am desiring is sinful come forward devotees are sitting down everyone should sit on the mat so at least today we'll try to understand ki what are the sinful desires and what are the sinful actions parishit maharaj when he caught kali red handed his kali was troubling the cow and the bull he caught him red handed and parikshit maharaj said get lost of my kingdom go out of my kingdom kali was very intelligent he very humbly he said maharaj entire world belongs to you jao to kahan jao where will i go you please give me shelter because i am also your praja so at that time parikshit maharaj gives him some places please repeat मीन्स गैम्लिंग So wherever gambling happens, Kali, you go reside there. Kali is searching; he is not finding a place where gambling is happening. During Parikshit Maharaj's time, no gambling. The next is a panam intoxication. Kali is searching. Boy, where is that place? Where is that place where intoxication is happening? He is not finding any place. Third, Striya, illicit sex. He is finding no place where illicit sex is happening. Suna, animal slaughter or meat eating, he is not finding any place like that. And Kali, he is begging, Oh Maharaj, in your entire kingdom there is no place like this which exists where I can stay. Please give me some other place to stay. And at that time, some other place was given. <laughs> to be more precise, gold was given. Okay, gold. Stay in the place where gold is there. and kali said okay this is very nice then i should go to south india <laughs> so much gold <laughs> now you see these are the four pillars of sin where kali resides these are the four pillars which prabhupad keeps talking again and again gambling meat eating intoxication illicit sex now see when it comes to meat eating our devotees not will not get into meat eating once given up given aise nahi ki abhi say the person stops practicing bhakti say by whatever reasons he stops chanting he stops coming in association of devotees very rare that a person will go back to his meat eating habits very rare so this is on the gross platform on the subtle platform meat eating also stands for violence or harsh speech this is on the subtle platform so say we have harsh speech or we have violent behavior then that is equivalent to breaking this regulative principle of meat eating hmm. but when harsh speech is used to teach a lesson to someone that to who is looking up to us for guidance then 
it's still okay. Example from Shastra is, yes, Vidura chastising Dhritarashtra. Kaise kaisa gahali diya? You are a dog. You are eating whatever Bhima is throwing at you. Shame at, shame on you. Matlab, aise aise gahali diya, kaise ko bhaga diya udar se. Can you imagine Dhritarashtra and Gandhari in the middle of the night without telling anyone they left? That was the harsh speech of Vidur that touched or that pierced, that pierced the heart of the Dhritarashtra. So such speech, such speech is okay for the benefit of other person, provided the other person is looking up to us for guidance. हमने ठेका नहीं ले रखा है सबको गाइड करने का यस तो दिस हैज टू वेरी क्लियर द ओनली दोस पीपल लुक अप टू अस हु कम टू अस वी वी कैन डू द नीडफुल नेक्स्ट वन इज इंटॉक्सिकेशन अल्कोहल सिगरेट्स ड्रग्स एटसेट्रा इवन टी कॉफी इज इंक्लूडेड इन दिस अगर उसमें हर्बल आगे प्रीफिक्स में हर्बल लगा दिए तो दैट्स ओके But then tea, coffee, as such, because that has got intoxicants like cocoa. So then, no, we don't take that. On the subtle platform, intoxication is pride. Being proud of anything is actually intoxication. So when we start boasting our various achievements in life, I did this, I did that, I am this, I am that. That pride that is shown subtly, that is also intoxication. third gambling so when it comes to gambling whatever speculation we do in our life that all comes in gambling on the subtle platform obviously on the gross platform jua khelna betting and etc etc so i don't speak much about gambling in association of boys gambling ke liye paisa chahiye there is no point of discussing much on this yes so maybe grastas i can speak more on this stuff so this uh, gambling on a subtle platform is speculation so when we speculate on various things and try to interpret various things in our own way that comes in the category of gambling hmm. so these are the three things on the gross and subtle platform talking about illicit sex on the subtle platform illicit sex is puja lab and pratishtha hmm. puja means having this desire That I should be worshipped. अभी जरूरी नहीं है कि गंध पुष्प धूप दीप नैवेद्य से वर्षिप हो इट नी नॉट बी एन आरती बट देन द डिजायर दैट आई शुड बी रेस्पेक्टेड वेन आई गो इन द एसोसिएशन ऑफ डिवोटीज एटलीस्ट टू थ्री डिवोटीज शुड गो डाउन एंड से हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी पे ओबेसेंस टू मी और एटलीस्ट स्पीक यू नो सम काइंड वर्ड्स वॉट एवर सो दैट इज the thing about puja in fact as the devotee grow as the devotees grow in krishna consciousness if they are not done their practice properly the sadhana is not proper this will creep in naturally it will happen ha huh? 10 years se bhakti kar raha hu 10 years ye ab bhi aaya ek mahine pehle now you see naturally all that will start the comparison will start and the person will naturally feel that i should be respected and he will not be able to hear anyone's good counsel very difficult I was hearing from my superiors, जितना सिखाना है जितना ट्रेनिंग देना अभी दे दो एक दो साल में बिकॉज आफ्टर दे क्रॉस दे वर सेंग टू थ्री ईयर ऑल्सो दे स्टार्ट फीलिंग द सीनियर्स और सीनियर बनते ही क्या होता है दे इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ हियरिंग सम वन नॉट इट्स ओनली स्पीकिंग कुछ ज्यादा सुना भी नहीं है बट चपड़ चपड़ करना है दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू नाउ गेट एनी गुड काउंसिल टू इम्प्रूव देयर कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस देर फोर इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट to have this mood that i'm always a newcomer i'm a learner if that mood is there that i'm a learner such a devotee will advance in bhakti that person who feels that uh, i know everything bas uska kuch nahi ho sakta he is thinking that is already sat chit ananda state <laughs> but one thing is there if that devotee is in the association of devotees and say he has pleased some devotee krishna will take charge of that devotee Krishna will shake that devotee very nicely and make him realize you are no senior, you are a very very junior person. And who will make us realize? Someone junior will only come and realize, make us realize. So therefore, it's very important to note this subtle sex. The first 
element of subtle sex is puja that is a desire to get worship or respect second is labh labh means gifts or labh means getting something valuable it can be in the form of some uh, big gift or it can be some presentation or whatever whatever people give it to us again i think uh, this is not very much valid in this uh, so in this group pata nahi gifts dete bhi hai kya nahi aap ek dusre ek se kanjus but when it comes to uh, brahmachari it's very much valid because grahastha duty is behind that you know, prabhuji take something take something huh? put this change it fast i think there's some problem with the wire लेकिन इस पर फिट नहीं होगा हो जाएगा नीचे इधर इधर फिट कर So when it comes to brahmacharis, many devotees want to give some gifts, and if the brahmachari is used to receiving gifts, the next time you will think, "Arey, last time to ye gift diya tha mujhe. Is baar kya ho gaya? Lagta hai ki promotion nahi mila hai, appraisal nahi hua iska." Third is pratishtha. Pratishtha means prestige, position. expecting some position expecting some prestige and having that pride that i am something having that pride that yes i have got so many followers etc etc all that comes in this pratishtha so this puja love and pratishtha are subtle sex and it is described that this is the last one to go from our existence raghunath das goswami says this in manashiksha where he says this is the last thing to go out of our existence yes starting se hi ho jata hai even the person who has spent few months in krishna consciousness puja la pratishtha will start it will go on increasing if bhakti is not done properly and then when the devotee is working on anarthas maybe the anarthas will leave starting with the gross ones but this is the subtlest that remains till the end maybe the constant companion of a devotee once the devotee gets rid of this then yes he makes his way back home back to god talking about the gross sex so this is the main discussion for today the cross on the cross platform illicit sex there's a nice shloka that uh, comes in uh, shridhar swami's commentary which is also quoted in uh, brahmachari in krishna consciousness book please read it smaranam kirtanam keli smaranam kirtanam keli prekshanam bhuya bhashanam prekshanam bhuya bhashanam संकल्पो संकल्पोध्यायृत्तिथुन अष्टांगम प्रवदी मनीषि मनीषि विपरीत ब्रह्मचर्य एवाष्टलक्षण so here it is said by the way this particular shloka is not just valid for brahmacharis anyone who is not married anyone who is getting married and anyone who is married it's valid for all these three category of people anyone remaining apart from <laughs> so these three categories so anyone who belongs to these three categories this particular shloka is valid what is this particular shloka saying there are ashtanga yoga ne ashtang what are these eight limbs of illicit sex first is smaranam smaranam means contemplation remembrance hmm. parpat i will give don't give parpats now yes sir second kirtanam <laughs> to speak to speak keli 
केली मीन्स टू प्ले और जोक प्रेक्षणम मीन्स टू सी गूह्य भाषणम कॉन्फिडेंशियली टॉकिंग संकल्प डिटरमाइंड वाव टू कमेट एलिसिट एक्टिविटी एंड देन कम्स ध्यावसायश्च दैट इज एंडेवरिंग एंडेवरिंग टू कमेट सेंफुल एक्टिविटी दैट इज एलिसिट सेक्स एंड क्रिया निवृत्ति actually getting into that illicit activity so these are the eight elements i don't know what to call it the eight limbs of ashtanga illicit sex so these are the eight limbs so it is described all the ones who call themselves as brahmacharis that is unmarried and all the ones who call themselves as grahasthas who have only one wife which is equivalent to being a brahmachari for them this is valid and one has to avoid eight eight of these when the person avoids this eight such a person can be called as pure pure in this context of illicit sex so let's begin one by one and try to uh, understand this in deep in depth so that at least we'll have information that i shouldn't get into this particular activity first one is smaranam smaranam means thinking about the opposite gender so i'll be describing uh, a male thinking about a female so all the ones who are watching online mata ji can obviously think about uh, the other aspect the opposite gender so the entire discussion is about the opposite gender for a male it's female and for a female it's male so here when it comes to smaranam it's thinking about the opposite gender thinking about a female now we have a case study from shrimad bhagavatam a very very nice brahmana boy very nicely serving his father one day his father tells him that uh, go and do pass distribution oh sorry <laughs> the father says go and get some wood go and get some wood from the forest he goes to the forest and there when he is collecting not distributing he is collecting the wood there he finds a very i don't know if she was beautiful but then she was a prostitute she was embracing a shudra a uncultured person because this holding hands on the street holding each other as a you know, the boy holding like this girl holding from below all this was uncultured habits they would no one would do this no one would do this in the vedic times in fact i was hearing that even when brother and sister would walk brother would say that i will go in front you walk from behind we will not walk together i was hearing from uh, my distant relative so old lady so she was telling that when i was going to uh, college so at that time one boy came to talk to me and then when that boy was talking you know, some other people from the society they caught him and bet him very nicely How dare you speak in public like this? Not allowed. Abi dekhi, abi sochiye matlab. If suppose I speak this in public out on the street today, log bolenge ki I'm mad. This common man, it is common, but it was not common. Ajamil, when he saw this uncommon scene at that time, the the way he took darshan was very very intense, and that became very strong. Now what happened is Ajamil. He should have forgotten that, like many of our devotees, when they go for pass distribution and they find such a jamil-like scene. Once they come back to base, they forget completely, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the smile says that yes, I <laughs> forget completely. <laughs> so he didn't forget, like you all. He didn't forget. <laughs> he started contemplating. he started thinking how was that shudra embracing how was that shudrani embracing how they were smiling and talking to each other how the dress of that lady was what were the other intimate activities they were doing he started contemplating and just imagine this contemplation was so deep that finally this person had to get that lady home the prostitute home and drive away others from home this is the power of contemplation 
So the problem with him was contemplation. I couldn't find this name from Srimad Bhagavatam. There was one king. So this king, he saw one girl passing by and he was attracted to that king. As I, that king was attracted to that girl. And you know what that king was saying? That, that king started saying that my mind is dharmic and I can never get attracted to anyone like this. If I am getting attracted to this girl, it means it is Lord's plan. <laughs> Don't try this in your place. <laughs> now one devotee is telling another devotee, Prabhu, my mind is getting attracted. <laughs> Looks like Krishna is planning something for me. He was, see, he, is, he was so confident when I read that shloka from Srinath Bhagavatam. I was feeling itna confidence. He was so dharmic. That it was very clear, my mind can never get attracted to anyone you know, who, uh, who is not dharmic. Or my mind can never get attracted if it is not orchestrated by the Lord. It was very clear about this, very clear. And therefore, at that time, you know, he got in touch with that lady and then he got married or something like that. Now look at us, you know, which category we belong to. So, smaranam, thought, thinking, contemplating is the first, first limb of the illicit sex, or the first type of illicit sex. So what are the different ways in which sadhakas can get into smaranam? First one is you know, reading something which is based on this particular aspect. Say we are reading a news article or a post. Most of the devotees, they don't access Instagram. But say, you know, you access that and you're reading something. So once you read that, and then if you start contemplating, already we are into this particular category of illicit sex. Hmm. Say you're reading a description of how a celebrity was looking, what she was wearing or whatever, and you start contemplating on that, you're already into this. Hmm. In fact, to an extent of, if we hear or read something from Srimad Bhagavatam, say a description of a female, for example, Putana's description. So there's a description given that how Putana was dressed, how her bodily limbs were, how she was walking, etc. And say we don't have adhikar to meditate on this particular uh, form. She is still a demoness. We have description of gopis also mentioned. And we don't have adhikar as of now to meditate you know, all these personalities. Because now with the sinful mind, with this lusty mind, we cannot meditate on their form. But personalities like Shukadeva Goswami Parikshit Maharaj on the platform of Prema, they are able to meditate. But they don't have any tinge of lust. So now say we have read this in Srimad Bhagavatam or say a very elevated soul is describing this in Bhagavatam class. And you have made notes. How that lady was looking from Srimad Bhagavatam. And now you hear in another class that contemplation should be strong. Yes. <laughs> we should... Contemplate on the subject matter that is spoken and read in Srimad Bhagavatam. And then we start contemplating. Yes. So this comes in Smaranam. Because this will agitate our senses. And that will, and this itself is a sign of illicit sex. So difficult, no? <clears throat> what to do? Abhi aisa situation hai mara, what to do? Now we have the sinful background. We have the sinful setup around us. The entire society is so sinful. And naturally, you know, this first thing will take place immediately. Smaranam. Solution for this is very nice. When we are doing, when we have smaranam as the illicit sex, that is thinking about the opposite gender, or thinking about some sexual scene and come contemplating on that. Instead of that, the counter to that or antidote to that is memorizing some shlokas, contemplating on some subject matter of Srimad Bhagavatam for which we have adhikar. Tell me some subject matter from uh, Bhagavatam which we can contemplate. Any section of Bhagavatam that we can contemplate. What is that? Dhruv Maharaj. How Dhruv Maharaj did intense sadhana? We can contemplate. No, Patsal ka bachcha itna sab diya. What am I doing? How can I improve my Krishna consciousness? Bharat Maharaj fall down. How Bharat Maharaj, three lifetimes, we can contemplate on that. There are so many subject matters like this to contemplate on. And then from uh, various other uh, pastimes of the Lord, the childhood pastimes of Krishna, 
So wonderful to contemplate how Mother Yashoda bound Krishna to Udham Gaidi Mota. How Krishna, he opened his mouth and showed the entire universe to Mother Yashoda. And what was Mother Yashoda thinking at that time when she was looking into the mouth and seeing the universe? At one point she was thinking, have I gone mad? No, 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 I am proper. Am I dreaming? No, I am able to see everything properly. Like this she was contemplating various different things. And there are other devotees who are offering prayers like Bhishma Dev, Kunti Maharani, they are offering prayers. That can be our contemplation. So as soon as your Smaranam changes to Divine Smaranam, from material Smaranam to Divine Smaranam, then that's the proper antidote for us. And for us as uh, devotees who are still in the youth, it's very important to memorize shlokas. When we memorize shlokas and keep chanting the shlokas, Especially, see, all these things will take place when we are in ignorance. So tell me, which part of the day a sadhaka can get into ignorance? Night time. Right? Night time. So as soon as the sun sets, the entire setup is ignorant. And in that, smaranam, material smaranam can become very strong. So during that time, what can actually save us is the spiritual smaranam or divine smaranam. So if you have memorized some shlokas, we can... Keep chanting those shlokas. Before sleeping, we can chant those shlokas and sleep. We also did one activity of smaranam, which I am sure everyone sitting here are doing that every day before sleeping at night. What was that? Radharani's lotus feet. The symbols on the Radharani's lotus feet. Yes. Kitne log kar rahe? Before sleeping every day? Other devotees might be humble. No? We are not qualified for <laughs> Radharani. Is how can we contemplate? How can we meditate? We will do Krishna Dota Sweet one day. So you start contemplating on that. So this is a contemplation. See, therefore, why all these things are taught to us from Shastra? What is the need of giving all the symbols on the Lotus Feet of Srimati Radha? Why to have a discussion on that? Why to have a discussion on Srimad Bhagavatam itself? So that we have some subject matter to contemplate on, especially when there is a probability of we getting into ignorance, especially at night time. And those devotees who keep memorizing shlokas, you know what happens? Their smaranam, the material smaranam that is there because of the impression, the samskaras that we have, all those samskaras are removed. Replaced with that. Literally it gets replaced. In fact, I have seen uh, in my own life, due to whatever reasons, for a few days if I am not chanting some shlokas or not contemplating on spiritual subject matter, I can see that yes, how my mind gets materially contaminated. But when continuously we are able to contemplate on something, which is spiritual, naturally we see that the consciousness remains very pure. So this is the solution for the first illicit sexual activity called Smaranam or contemplation. Second is Kirtanam. Kirtanam means talking about sex life or talking about opposite gender. Now we have a case study again from Srimad Bhagavatam. Samudra Manthan got over. Dhanvantri came with uh, a very, very beautiful golden pot. What was there in the pot? Amrit was there, nectar was there. And immediately demons came and they stole away. And the devtas, all, they are all uh, shouting and lamenting. They took away, they took away our nectar. And they immediately took shelter of the Lord. And there, Lord manifests his very beautiful form of Mohini. So we can meditate on all the forms of the Lord except <laughs> in the description of Mohini is very dangerous. Yes, very dangerous. Our, as of not our state, kya kare? So Mohini came there and now when these uh, demons, when they saw Mohini, they started doing Kirtan amongst themselves. They started describing Mohini's beauty. They started saying, Aho Rupam! Aho Dhamma! Aho Asya Navam Vaya! It's almost like Arjuna saying, Param Brahma, Param Brahma. <laughs> <laughs> when I read this shloka, I was you know, remembering that shloka. <laughs> They're saying, Aho Rupam, wonderful is her beauty. Look at her beauty. Kamaste Prabhu, dekho, dekho. <laughs> Another was saying, Aho Dhama. Prabhu, beauty chodo, luster dekho, unke skin ka. The texture is so wonderful. She's so effulgent. Aho asya navam vayaha. How wonderful the beauty of her youthful ages. There's all the discussion going on. 
this called as kirtanam i had caught few boys speaking like this once so there were few boys discussing and one boy saying prabhu mata ji ko dekha aapne aaj wo sunday feast mein aayi thi <laughs> Now another boy was hearing. This was, I think, uh, five six years back. Another boy was hearing. कौन थी bro? मैंने तो नहीं देखा. Now the other boy says, next time Sunday feast में बताऊँगा मैं तुझे. So this is Kirtanam. <laughs> yes. Fortunately, you know, I see that uh, at least you know, now we have all uh, mature devotees, mature uh, devotees staying in the base. We have mature grahasthas also in our congregation. But there will be some some people who are not doing bhakti properly. They will do all this. They will start speaking about the opposite gender. They will start speaking about uh, various uh, sexual activities. and now if you are in touch with such people gone gone case wo to kachra bhara hai unke dimag mein hamara bahut kachra bhara tha lekin bahut kuch nikal gaya bhagwan ki kripa se bhakton ki kripa se but such people they will put that garbage in us that's the big problem that is there therefore we have to be very very careful so how this kirtanam can take place with us so in the office when colleagues come together abhi aapne to class sun liya hai unhone to suna nahi hai सुन के भी उनको फायदा नहीं है यस बट नाउ व्हेन यू सिटिंग देयर ऑन द लंच टेबल एंड व्हेन यू आर हियरिंग ऑल दिस दिस इज व्हाट विल हैपन यू आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द इलिसिट सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी कॉल्ड कीर्तनम कीर्तनम अबाउट दिस सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी और ऑपोजिट जेंडर वेरी डेंजरस एंड आल्सो सम पीपल माइट हैव द हैबिट ऑफ राइटिंग डायरी नाउ से नाउ यू कैन नॉट स्पीक टू समवन so you start writing that today i saw a beauty on the street oh diary only i can share with you is kartike das is not allowed to share openly <laughs> trust me this is even more dangerous because isme kirtanam ke saath saath smaranam bhi acche se hoga so you are just writing 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 yes so one has to be very careful that one should get into all these different things, articles diaries etc whatever writing about the sexual activity or writing about some beauty of the opposite gender no very very dangerous very dangerous so this kirtana hmm. what is solution for this solution for this is when devotees come together are title diya hai hum log ko bhakt aur devotee bhakt bhakt will do what bhakti and bhakti means what navida bhakti उसमें आता है कीर्तन सो नवेदा भक्ति का कीर्तन करना है वेन वी कम टूगेदर वी आर सपोज टू डिस्कस अबाउट कृष्णा वी हैव टू हेल्प द डिवोटीज टू रेज दर कॉन्शियसनेस टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल ऐसा नहीं कि मेरा कॉन्शियसनेस खराब है प्रभु जी तो एडवांस कर रहे हैं अब भी इसको खींचता हूँ मुझे प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा एंड यू यू स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग नॉन सेंस दैट्स अ डिस सर्विस दैट्स अ सेम दैट्स एन ऑफेंस बेसिकली But when we devotees come together, we have to do is only one thing: matchitta, matgata, prana, bodhayanta, parasparo. This is what we are expected to do. We are supposed to speak about Krishna, discuss about Krishna, discuss some philosophical topics. And I've seen there are some group of devotees. They are very philosophically minded. So as soon as they come for lunch, lunch time, dinner time, breakfast also, whatever, during that time they'll sit together and discuss something on philosophy. कभी कभी वो डिस्कशन डिबेट में टर्न हो जाता है ओके एटलीस्ट दैट डूइंग सम डिबेट ऑन सब फिलोसफिकल सब्जेक्ट मैटर सो दैट्स वेरी नाइस अ हेल्दी ग्रुप ऑफ डिवोटीज मींस दे आर शेयरिंग प्रभु मैंने ये पढ़ा कल मैंने कल ये सुना वो ये पॉइंट रियली इट वाज अमेजिंग प्रभु पाद मेड दिस पॉइंट एंड शुक मी फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम लिटरली इट गिव्स मी गोसबम्स नाउ दैट डिवोटी विल आस्क वो बताइए ना पॉइंट बताइए ना व्हाट इज दैट This is called as very healthy devotee association. Yes. Now there are certain sect of devotees whom you will find who are not sincere in their practice. As soon as there is a discussion that starts about Krishna, approach your office account, Hare Krishna. <laughs> we'll meet. Discussion, बहुत अच्छा है. Record कर लीजिए. Recording भेज देना मुझे. 
So such devotees, such people, such sadhakas will not take interest. So we should choose our association properly. This kirtanam is a very, very important thing. If say you don't have anyone to speak to about the Lord, you can always sing Vaishnava bhajans. Sit alone and sing Vaishnava bhajan. What is the problem? Sing Vaishnava bhajans. We can do this kirtanam. Japa can be done nicely. Sit at one place and do Japa. Devotees are the ones who have many, many alternatives in life to replace this illicit sexual activity called the material kirtanam. Many, many opportunities, many, many replacements, many, many alternatives. So this can be done. This is kirtanam, second. Third one is keli. Kela ka female version nahi hai. Keli means don't play or don't joke or don't flirt. So anyone who gets into this flirting, playing, joking with the opposite gender, that's called as Kali. Playing with the opposite gender, very, very gross scene that is described in Srimad Bhagavatam is the sons of Kuveram. Nala Kuveram, Mani Grave. Very nicely enjoying. They are nude, the females are nude, and they are all having nice time in the water. That's very gross. When it comes to Kali, Flirting, that can be seen again in Srimad Bhagavatam. These demons, again Mohini pastime. So Mohini, she came and now these demons are talking to her. See what they say. Oh, wonderfully beautiful girl. You have such nice eyes. Resembling the petals of a lotus flower. Who are you? Where do you come from? What is your purpose in coming here? And to whom do you belong? Now this question they ask, again they say, Oh you whose thighs are extraordinarily beautiful. Our minds are becoming agitated simply because of seeing you. And they continue saying, Oh beautiful girl with beautiful eyebrows. Certainly providence by his causeless mercy has sent you to please the senses and minds of all of us. Is, isn't it a fact? These demons are asking, this Mohini. This is called as flirting. This is called as Keli. Now it's very important to note that when we are speaking to the opposite gender, we have to speak very respectfully and not get into such nonsensical things. Say you are speaking to some uh, Mataji and you are saying, Mataji, today you are looking uh, very beautiful. <laughs> No, I'm not flirting. I'm just saying it's so divine, I tell you. <laughs> your Shringar is so divine. I'm feeling like doing your Shringar Aarti today. <laughs> and say you hear a Mataji's Kirtan. And then you go and glorify her. Mataji, your voice is next level. In fact, just jab se main aapka Kirtan suna hai, raat ki neem chali <laughs> The only thing that I'm able to hear is Hare Krishna Mahamantra, that too sung by you. Last time I was hearing in a Bhagavatam class, even in dreams we have to chant Hare Krishna, hear Hare Krishna, thank you Mataji. See, I'm not flirting, I'm thanking you, I'm grateful to you that you have such a sweet voice. So, Zada Shana ni banna hai, samaj rahe hai. One shouldn't act too smart. When we get into such things, you know, we have to understand that we are digging our own grave. Because this illicit sexual activity called Keli or dallying with a woman, flirting with a woman is very, very dangerous. Because Smaranam tha, next was Kirtanam, you are discussing amongst yourself. Now you have so much of confidence that you are going to that person and glorifying the person, flirting with the person. And you never know, someone can go and say also that uh, it's Lord's causeless mercy that Mataji, you have come to the center to deliver all of us. <laughs> we are very grateful, very fortunate. And such a wonderful preacher you are, etc, etc. One has to be very careful. In fact, what is the need to talk to opposite gender? What is the need? There are already so much of service that is there, you know, in one group. Why you want to go and talk to opposite gender? What is the need? Even if there is some service, cut to cut, calm se calm, that's it. There is no question of speaking more than that. Now say, Radhisham Prabhu had written one nice drama in Brahmachari Sangha. He was 
uh, giving us, you know, reading the drama for all of us. So, say you have been given some service of uh, whatever, coordinating for garland making or decoration or whatever. And now you get a chance to speak to some uh, Mataji and Mata is asking, so, Prabhuji, how do you make garland? And now you start describing that we have to choose the beautiful flowers which are resembling your beautiful eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll not describe more. <laughs> <laughs> so now if say the person starts doing that, that's a problem. How will a devotee who is straightforward, who does not want to get into illicit sex, how will he deal with this? He's, uh, she is asking that, uh, Prabhuji, how to make garland? I don't know how to make Can you please help me? And, and then he'll say, okay, I'll send you a video. Mataji, you watch that. No, video to bar bar ke? Yes. Or I'll ask a senior Mataji. She is there, so she knows how to make. So I'll coordinate. And Prabhuji, flower, once the flowers use karo, I'll use it. I'll use it. I'll use it. Yes. Now, there is no need to speak more than that. What is the need? Yes. So therefore, those devotees who have any service, which deals with the opposite gender has to be very careful not to speak more than required. This even those people are married, I tell them also, especially the Bhakti Vriksha leaders who are counseling their subordinates because Bhakti Vriksha leader means husband, wife and they have many uh, families under them. So I always say, say a male is talking to a female who is taking guidance you know, from them. He has to make sure that he does not speak more than required. He cannot go and uh, keep uh, speaking whatever he wants. No? No? Hmm. Glorifying, say that Mataji gets prasad and this uh, Prabhu is glorifying. Mataji, amazing prasad. And then, then Mataji is saying, Prabhuji, look, you are saying that it's amazing prasad. But then, my Prabhu is never saying that. Now this devotee is thinking, I am ready to become your Prabhu. What is the problem? <laughs> What is your problem? <laughs> what is your problem? So it's very dangerous, you know, to get into all this. Sometimes genuinely senior devotees glorify, you know, to encourage you know, some Matajis to continue the service. But when there is a different thing in the mind and then the person is glorifying, that person will know that he is doing illicit sex. And he will fall. He will fall. What is the solution for the same? Solution is minimize the talk. Make it zero if possible. If not, at least minimize the talk. And a very, very important thing, already time in Jeevan. And how do you waste time? Where is the question of wasting time? Rupa Goswami talks about Abhyartha Kalatvam. We have to use every moment of our life in Krishna's service. Where is the question of going and wasting time and flirting? Unnecessarily glorifying someone just because I have this illicit uh, sexual tendency. In one of the purport Prabhupada writes, very nice purport, 1526. Srimad Bhagavatam. Prabhupada says, instead of wasting time, one can get spiritual access by turning his attention to the transcendental pastimes of the Lord. By hearing the narrations of the pastimes of the Lord, one contacts directly the personality of Godhead. And as, as explained before, by hearing about personality of Godhead from within, all accumulated sins of the mundane creature are cleared. So whatever nonsense is there here, just by hearing about Krishna, all that will go away. Hmm. Thus being cleared of all sins, the hearer gradually becomes liberated from mundane association and becomes attracted to the features of the Lord. Narada Muni just explained this by his personal experience. This is a uh, section where Narada Muni is influenced by Bhakti Vedantas. He has received the mercy from Bhakti Vedantas and he has developed taste in Krishna consciousness. So he's speaking from that. The whole idea is that simply by hearing about Lord's pastimes, one can become one of the associates of the Lord. Time nahi hai. There is no time. If we have little time, better to plug in and hear Krishna Katha. One of the Prabhupada disciples, his name is Kratu Prabhu. He would come very often here before COVID. So always his earphones would be hanging. It would be there in his pocket. And as soon as his class finishes, question answer finishes, now no one is there, immediately he will plug in. He will not uh, take his mobile and switch on or whatever. He will just plug in. Yes. So one day he was asked, So Prabhupada, you are plugging in. Are you hearing something? He said, Prabhupada lecture is always on. He's always on. 
whenever i get even a minute i put i put abhi wo mobile nikal ke on karo so will not waste time on that is always on is always there in the pocket here from the connected he connects and he hears this call is obvious the call to i said devotees exist karte hain you see the only thing is we should be eager not to get into this illicit sexual activity called keli naturally we get all these different uh, wonderful ways to progress in krishna consciousness so we have covered three types of illicit sex first one smaranam second kirtanam third keli acha keli is different it is smaranam kirtanam it matches with our navida bhakti people will feel why these people are discussing that we shouldn't do smaranam kirtanam fourth one is prekshanam prekshanam means lustfully looking at the opposite gender so scanning so the opposite uh, gender is standing in front scanning from top to bottom bottom to top top to bottom bottom to top aapko bhagwan ne isliye bheja dharti pe scan karne ke liye log yes <laughs> we are not been sent for doing this yes. and we have a very very deadly case study from chaitanya charitamrita chota haridas दास कॉमन है सब में बट यूर वी हैव छोटा हरिदास छोटा हरिदास वॉज सेंट टू बेग आर्म्स फ्रॉम अ डिवोटी अ वेरी एलिवेटेड सोल कॉल्ड माधवी माधवी देवी शी वॉज द सिस्टर ऑफ शिक्की महिति अनदर ग्रेट डिवोटी शी वॉज अ वेरी एडवांस लेडी शी वॉज एल्डरली ऑल्सो बट इट डिस्क्राइब दैट दिस पर्सनैलिटी छोटा हरिदास ही वेंट टू बैग and it is described that he had a lustful glance on her and this and also they had some intimate talk it is described he spoke something so here it is described that chaitanya mahaprabhu rejected chota haridas he told the associates that i don't want to see chota haridas again that was the thing can you imagine this was prekshanam this was prekshana he was seeing he was seeing the person he was seeing that lady with lustful glance therefore this sight you know these eyes are very deadly same thing happened to bilva mangal thakur bilva mangal thakur was addicted to a prostitute and then when that prostitute made him realize that if you have same attachment what you have for me for the lord you will attain the lord this very life you know what akur got goose bombs and his entire life transformed because of because of the words of the prostitute and below mangal thakur he decided that he'll go to brindavan and do bhajan there while going to brindavan his eyes prekshanam started glancing lustfully on another lady and to such an extent that he wanted to enjoy that lady but again by the mercy of the lord lord made him realize that you're doing wrong again and at that time He asked for the hairpin of that lady, and he plugged his eyes out. He said, "These eyes are making the problem. These eyes. What's the point of having these eyes?" He just busted his eyes using those hairpin. Now you all know. Next time, what you are supposed to do? <laughs> yes. You need not go to the same Mata Ji. You can come to me. I will also keep some hairpins. <laughs> safety pins also i think you should keep it is more more sharp so prekshanam is a very deadly thing and there are many many ways to do this many many ways one is physically seeing see it might happen that say a lady opposite gender is passing by and then aap aise ja rahe hain then wo aise gayi to aapne dekha yes and he is walking straight he is a sincere sadhaka now you are walking straight and the lady is going like this and your eyes are mo- moving like this he is a dog and the person who is going ahead and piche mod mod ke dekh raha he is a rascal yes very very important to note prekshana physically seeing and also please understand one thing in this world opposite sex are made in such a way that they are naturally attracted opposite na the world is always opposite so opposite poles attract each other so it's very natural in this world therefore a sincere sadhaka has to force himself 
नो नो प्रेक्षण I'm not going to do this illicit sexual activity or seeing the opposite gender. And you know what? When we see the opposite gender, the intensity with which we take darshan is very intense. उतना तो भगवान का भी दर्शन नहीं लेते। If you ask after going to say we go to some temple and Shringar Arati we attend, and during after Bhagavatam class when we sit for prasad and another devotee asks him, तो कितना सुंदर कलर ड्रेस था ना आज? कृष्णा ने बहुत सुंदर कलर ड्रेस पहना था नाउ दिस डिवोटेड कौन सा कलर था वो लिटरली इट हैपेंस हां इट हैपेंस वी आर नॉट एबल टू रिमेंबर द अटायर ऑफ द लॉर्ड बट वी कैन रिमेंबर द अटायर ऑफ द लेडी होम वी सॉ मे बी वन ईयर बैक और टू इयर्स बैक नाउ इमेजिन द इंटेंसिटी विद व्हिच वी हैव टेकन द दर्शन ऑफ दैट लेडी प्रेक्षण वेरी डेंजरस What are the other ways in which prakshnam can be done? You see some photos, or you watch some video. That is also enough. Hmm? Video ko pause kar kar ke dekhenge, rewind kar ke dekhenge, or you see a photo. And yesterday one devotee also told WhatsApp DP or status. So you have some. You are, you have your colleague. You're not doing the whatever. You're not go, going and talking to her or flirting with her. But then again, I'm opening and seeing her DP. और पर्टिकुलरली गोइंग एंड सीइंग हर स्टेटस माता जी कहाँ कहाँ गई थी देखो तो थोड़ा वेर दिस प्रेक्शन दिस डॉग मेंटेलिटी मस्ट टू वेरी वेरी केयरफुल ऑफ दिस बिकॉज फोटो फिजिकल नहीं है तो भी चलेगा फोटो इज अनफ टू डिग्रेड अवर कॉन्शियस एंड दैट इज ऑल्सो इलिस्ट सेक्स कॉल प्रेक्शन श्लो प्रोपाद राइट्स दिस इज फ्रॉम अ श्लोका फ्रॉम सिक्स कैंटो एटीन चैप्टर श्लोका फोर्टी वन शरत पद्मोत्सव वक्त ब्रतमेंटिंग women are very much attractive to men therefore a woman's face is compared to a blooming lotus flower in autumn just as a lotus is extremely beautiful in autumn a woman at the threshold of youthful beauty is extremely attractive when a woman's bodily features are attractive when her face is beautiful and when her voice is sweet she is naturally see what propa says she is naturally a trap for a man वो देखा है हम लोग वो चूहे को कैसे पकड़ते हैं वो छोटा सा ब्रेड लगा के चपाती लगा के विद घी सेम सेम द शास्त्र एडवाइज दैट व्हेन सच अ वुमेन कम्स टू सर्व अ मैन शी शुड बी कंसीडर्ड टू बी लाइक अ डार्क वेल कवर्ड बाय ग्रास इन द फील्ड्स देयर आर मेनी सच वेल्स एंड अ मैन हु डज नॉट नो अबाउट देम ड्रॉप्स थ्रू द ग्रास एंड फॉल्स डाउन Very strong words, huh? Strong words. So very, very careful. One has to be very careful of this. They are beautiful, no doubt. That's why they are beautiful. They are beautiful, no doubt. But they are meant to serve Krishna, not us. And our eyes are not meant to look at them. Our eyes are meant to look at Krishna. We have to be very careful on this. Whatever I am speaking is not just for brahmacharis or unmarried boys. It's also valid for married people. the married person is expected to be chaste to his wife it is described that say the female is not chaste to the male she is thinking about someone else in the mind whom else she is seeing and the male is also having the same thing that he is thinking about someone whom he is seeing the progeny or the kid that they want to beget is going to be dirty kid asuric demonic mentality therefore chastity is very very important for a female brahmacharya is very very important for a male very very important so all those people who are planning to get married one has to make sure that we don't get into these different uh, ways of illicit sex because just by thought itself is going to spoil our consciousness and we're going to have tough time while begetting a kid that kid will be asuric not a divine kid in uh, go bhaja govindam there is a famous shloka how to see a woman Shankaracharya is telling. When a male is seeing a female, the most attractive body parts are given here. 
नारी स्थन बर नाभी देशम दृष्टवा माग मोहावेशम एतन मांसा वशादि विकारम मनसी चिंतय विचिंत वारम वारम ही इज टेलिंग रिफ्लेक्ट दिस इन योर माइंड अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन शंकराचार्य इज सेइंग एंड सो वी आस्किंग ओ शंकराचार्य व्हाट शुड आई थिंक अबाउट अगेन एंड अगेन ही इज सेइंग थिंक अबाउट द ब्रेस्ट एंड द नेवल ऑफ द फीमेल है क्या बोल रहे हो these are the two attractive body parts of a female but he is saying think about what they are made up of and here he says they are made up of mamsa and vashadi they are made up of what they are made up of flesh and fat that's it why are you not able to contemplate on this subject matter contemplate this again and again and feel disgust for your attraction for the same this is what shankara acharya is saying yes so what whatever darshan we are taking of the opposite gender this is the meditation that is there also another thing which prabhupada writes in the same purport where he says in sanskrit a woman's voice is called nara swar nari swara because women generally sing and their singing is very attractive at the present moment cinema artists especially female singers are especially welcome some of them earn fabulous amounts of money simply by singing prabhupada's uh, purports are very contemporary very connected therefore as thought by shri chaitanya mahaprabhu a woman singing is dangerous because it can make a sanyasi fall a victim to the woman sanyas means giving up the company of women but if a sanyasi hears the voice of a woman and sees her beautiful face he certainly becomes attracted and is sure to fall down there have been many examples even great sage vishwamitra fell a victim to menaka what was menaka doing what did the vishwamitra hear he just heard the sound of ankle bells chan <laughs> chan <laughs> aur uska hari bol ho gaya hmm? just by hearing that therefore a person desiring to advance in spiritual consciousness must be especially careful not to see a woman's face or hear a woman's voice to see a woman's face and appreciate its beauty or to hear a woman's voice and appreciate her singing as very nice is a subtle fall down for a brahmachari or a sanyasi thus the description of a woman's features by kashyap muni is very instructive so it's a very important instruction that is given to us not to hear mata ji's singing or even giving class or whatever not allowed not allowed for anyone for that matter even for grahastha men men not allowed but females can obviously hear men voice because uh, the men are expected you know the ones who are speaking the ones who are giving classes they are expected to be pure and speak so females can hear no problem but when it comes to seeing a female unfortunately there is a lot of probability of getting attracted to her therefore it's uh, not allowed in vedic times hmm. and naturally you will see mata ji's kirtan bahut acche lagenge i have specially heard from uh, the boys who come newly to krishna consciousness kirtan jo bharte hai na usme mobile mein they have all these kirtans mata ji's kirtans till they don't understand that it is also getting into an activity of illicit sex they continue hearing oh ji bahut wo mata ji bahut acha gaati hai very nice very pure voice pure devotee and you said you have to hear pure devotee <laughs> i am hearing i am hearing you see So no question of hearing female kirtans. Sometimes I see while washing vessels and all, I've heard devotees playing kirtan, especially led by Mata Ji. It's not good, not good. Yeah. And therefore, when Mata Ji is leading kirtan, only during festival, you know, we sit. Otherwise, we don't. We don't hear. We don't hear. Yeah. Another very important thing: prakshanam is not just seeing a Mata Ji, seeing a female or opposite gender. prakshanam also makes prakshan it is a very deep purport which prabhupad has given 11th canto 17th chapter shloka 33 prabhupad says praninah indicates all living entities whether birds bees or human beings among most species of life sexual intercourse is preceded by diverse mating rituals in human society all types of entertainment books movie music films and all places of amusement restaurant shopping center shopping centers resorts are designed to stimulate the sexual urge and create an aura of romance one who is not married should rigidly avoid anything related to sex 
and of course should never see any living entity whether bird insect or human engaging in the various phases of sexual intercourse who fell down looking at the sex of an animal shobari muni shobari muni was inside the water doing tapasya he came inside the water so that he is not distracted by the opposite gender outside but inside the water he saw two fishes mating bas that was the reason for his fall down chhod diya usne sab bhakti bhakti chhod diya then he got married to a lot of females and then rest is history so there's no question the birds are mating or you know you see some other animals mating there's no question of seeing all that no because anything and everything has the power to stimulate our uh, sexual desire and that seeing itself prakshanam itself is called as illicit activity illicit sexual activity and here especially when we see boys and girls holding their hands and holding very intimately embracing each other or whatever we should be very careful not to look at all that very important not to look at all that aise nahi main to nahi kar raha at least dekh to sakta hu nahi bilkul nahi not at all not at all yes so i think so that option is gone option is gone and i i don't think i have to speak about pornography and this and that there is no question of devotees not doing doing all these activities not about right? what is the solution the eyes are meant only to take darshan of krishna so it's a very nice activity that that we can do we can have our wallpapers of laptop mobile some nice beautiful deity of krishna right? when we get up in the morning we take darshan of the lord before sleeping at night we take darshan of the lord right? and whenever we are agitated when our senses are agitated we can take darshan of the lord So these are different ways in which uh, we can dovetail this tendency of prakshana. Instead of seeing the opposite gender or sexual activity, better uh, focus on the Lord. So we discussed four. First, smaranam. Second, kirtanam. Third, keli. Fourth, prakshana. Fifth one is guya bhashanam. Guya bhashanam means intimately talking to the opposite gender. More than the job description that we have kaam se kaam nahi thoda aur usse aada aur that is guya bhashanam and that too confidential talk in a secluded place one shla bhakti no bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur his own disciple she was uh, she had got the first initiation she was the wife of shri obil kapoor so she was old enough Uh, no she was young and bhakti siddhanta saraswati was of the age of grandfather of that uh, lady utna age difference tha so that lady requested bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur that uh, i want to speak to you something in uh, confidence in seclusion so that time bhakti not bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur he said whatever you have to say you may say here now in the company of my disciples very very important there's no question of talking in seclusion alag se jaake there's no question of talking so one is physical talking tell me what are the different ways in which guya bhashanam can be done go call or phone you can tell so this time i am free we can talk and then you talk over phone even if it's for a service not proper now being a congregation preacher you know i have to speak to mata ji so what i personally do is if any mata ji calls me i put it on speaker whenever i speak yes. and since i am an ashram devotees keep going around so that's okay yes by this is what my superiors have taught me hmm. what is the other way in which we can do guya bhashana chatting all glories to whatsapp <laughs> all glories to telegram all glories to facebook messenger all glories all glories all glories <laughs> <laughs> now see at least physically devotees might be careful and wo pakad lenge mujhe nikal denge by the way you done this huh? whenever we have found any devotee who is caught flirting with uh, some lady in the congregation or wherever we have removed that devotee from the association very much out no more question not allowed 
So when this is one Goya Bhasha, no? when uh, the person is chatting, say, Abhi to kisi ko nahi samjhega ye to. No one will get to know. No one will get to know. Only we will know that. Therefore, there is no question of texting. There is no question of having that samvad. So whatever is there, always we should ask our superiors how this has to be done. So especially when we are doing congregation preaching and they say I am supposed to speak to some Mataji. So what we do is, we have a group. So say I have to speak to some Mataji. So we have a group of husband, wife and myself. So whatever I have to speak, I will speak in that group. I will text in that group. No talking directly. Rarely, very rarely they might call and talk or message. Very rarely. But we have this security system for ourselves. So see, if we are supposed to, we are doing that, even other grasta devotees when are supposed to counsel their members, they are husband wife and they are counseling husband wife. And say the male Prabhu is supposed to speak to a female under them who's, who are taking guidance. They also have a group. They have, this is what I have told uh, all the Bhakti Riksha leaders. That there is no question of directly talking. There is no directly conversing. Talk whatever you want to talk, talk in the group. That is very safe. Because many times this gives rise to illicit sexual activity. This itself is illicit sexual activity. But this also will give rise to on the gross platform, very, very gross platform as well. There have been many, many cases. From time memorial, there are many, many cases. Many, many cases. Guya Bhashanam has given rise to uh, very, very gross sexual activities. Even nice devotees have got into this. Once what happened is, I was thinking, anyway, I was in my 20s. When I started doing congregation preaching, I was 26. So, I was thinking, anyways, all Matais are elder to me. All like 45, 46, 47. So, there's no tension. Then I heard a case study. IYF boy, who was 25. He had an affair with a lady who was 45 plus. And this happened in one place, which I'll not name. I was like, kuch bhi ho sakta hai, matla. Then I was th then I was a bit amazed, and after that I was contemplating on the subject matter. Then really, anyways, what's so great? We are in the material world. What is so great? Mm -hmm. There, uh, people are the old ladies who are getting into affair with the young boys. So what is so great? Mm -hmm. Therefore, anything can happen. Guya bhashana very dangerous, bro. Very dangerous. Guya bhashana very dangerous. Therefore, here in eleventh Srimad Bhagavatam eleventh canto, chapter seventeen, shloka thirty three. It is described, those who are not married should never associate with women by glancing, touching, conversing, joking or sporting. Neither should they ever associate with any living entity engaged in sexual activity. And Prabhupada, he gives a wonderful purport, he says, when a woman, when a man jokes with a woman, an intimate, sexually charged atmosphere is immediately created. So, you text, kar rahe hai, ab baat kar rahe hai, whatever. It might be normal, and but then it gets into another level of discussion. Here it is said, sexually charged atmosphere is immediately created. And this should also be avoided for those aspiring to practice celibacy. Even a householder who becomes attached to such activities will also fall down into darkness of ignorance. Hmm. Very, very important. Why to get into all these things? Just by that talk, that entire sexually surcharged atmosphere gets created. It doesn't matter if fire is old or new or freshly created. It doesn't matter if butter is stale or freshly created. As soon as the butter and fire comes together, what will melt? I will not describe much on this. So if you consider yourself to be fresh butter or stale butter or this butter ka expiry date chala gaya hai. Doesn't matter. You come in touch with any sort of fire. Chota fire, bada fire, what bada fire, doesn't matter. The person has to melt. Hmm. What is the solution? See, why? what is the need of confidentially going and talking to opposite gender? Because everyone has got a need of confidentially speaking to someone. Guya makhyati prachati. That's what Rupa Swami is saying in Act of Instruction. The six symptoms of friendship or love. Preeti Lakshanam. So one of them is speaking confidentially and hearing someone confidential, this is a need. Hai. There's a need. So that person who doesn't have a nice friendship amongst brahmacharis, amongst the, the devotees who are staying, whom we are staying with, naturally this thing will take place. Even the 
people who are married and say husband wife they don't have good relationship with each other then this thing will happen they'll start talking to someone else so if devotees say all the devotees staying together or brahmacharis staying together if they have good friendship amongst themselves they're sharing their heart with other person and when someone is sharing the heart the other person should acknowledge properly hmm. so say you share your heart to some mata ji now naturally they emotional very kind so they'll speak very nicely oh prabhu ji you are going through this problem no i'll pray for you prabhu ji don't worry na cha someone is going to pray for me and you go and tell that to your basement or ashram mate aise aise ho raha hai material world mein prabhu aise hi hoga aur kya hoga sadhna theek se karo sadhna theek se karo kya kar rahe ho we can also is help no what is the problem pray karne mein problem kya hai you can always give that solace to the person bro don't worry i also went through this you will also come out of it i'll pray for you let's take shelter of this superior devotee of the senior devotee let's talk to that devotee wo chhod ke ekdam aisa arrogant harsh way mein usko thak bhag gaya to ye kya karega bechara jo saath mein reh rahe wo help nahi kare to ye bahar jaake dhoondne ka fir kisi ko therefore especially this very much valid for all the aspiring brahmacharis and brahmachari are also the ones who are staying in brahmachari ashram we should have tight friendship even the devotees are staying in the base we should have tight friendship amongst each other if not with everyone because sabke sath bandwidth match nahi hoga at least one or two uh-huh. nice devotees hai aisa nahi ki wo bhi ekdam uska level hila dula hai and you also go with him no nice fixed up devotee i'm talking about uh-huh. so this is uh, a solution that is given and also guya bhashanam can always always be done with krishna go in front of the lord offer prayers you want to tell something secretly no go and tell to the lord and lord will surely reciprocate sixth one is sankalpah sankalpa means now the person is determined to have sexual intercourse yes take on sankalpa bahut sun liya bahut dekh liya bahut baat kar liya now is determined sankalp <clears throat> so in shastra we have the example of kal krishna das so kal krishna das was a secretary or personal servant of chaitanya mahaprabhu in the south indian tour at that time a group of ladies allured him can you imagine his sankalpa was so great his determination was so great to associate with those females he left the association of supreme personality of godhead shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu and he went and shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu went there and he saw that he is enjoying with those females mahaprabhu caught his shikha and pulled him jal he removed him from that place this is how chaitanya mahaprabhu rescued kal krishna das from the group of those gypsy women so this is sankalpa having that strong determination bas abhi you know now i have to go now i have to indulge sexually with this opposite gender now is the time for action संकल्प इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट संकल्प लेवल तक आने नहीं देना है said, don't contemplate to engage in sexual intercourse. This is the first thing. स्मरणम करना ही नहीं है एंड बी डिटर्माइंड टू मेक श्योर यू गेट प्रॉपर काउंसिलिंग विथ अ सीनियर डिवोटी एंड विच सीनियर डिवोटी इन होम यू हैव ट्रस्ट इफ यू फॉलो टू दिस बैड स्टेट ऑफ माइंड इमीडिएटली गवन टेक काउंसिलिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंकिंग फीलिंग विलिंग अगर ये चालू हो गया है एकदम बेटर टेक काउंसलिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई नो सो मेनी डिवोटीज कम दे डू शेयर देयर हार्ट सेइंग सो एंड सो थिंग इज हैपनिंग जस्ट बाय शेयरिंग हार्ट इटसेल्फ मेनी थिंग्स गो अवे यस एंड हियर इज अ वेरी नाइस पॉइंट दैट विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर इज राइटिंग इन हिज कमेंट्री टू कैंटो 7 चैप्टर 15 श्लोक 22 सी ऑल ऑफ अस इवन लिटिल बिट इफ प्रसाद गेट्स डिलेड भूख लगता है ना बहुत ज्यादा लगता है कि नहीं बट ऑन द फास्टिंग डे वेन सपोज टू डू निर्जल जन्माष्टमी निर्जला एकादशी कैसे कर लेते निर्जल हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल यू एंगेज इन सम एक्टिविटी माइंड सेट माइंड प्रिपेयर द भागवत स्वीकर स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग द माइंड फॉर वन वीक बिफोर इट सेल्फ निर्जल करना है निर्जल करना है माइंड इज प्रिपेयर नाउ द पर्सन इज डेटा माइंड सो विश्वनाथ चक्री ठाकुर इज सेंग that the way the person a hungry person is ready to fast also on the day of fasting because he has decided that i'll fast today similarly he makes a point that 
Similarly, if a person decides that I will not get into illicit sexual activity, he is, he is determined on this point. Like the hungry man was determined that I will fast, he will not get into illicit sexual activity. Determination is very important. Also, it is mentioned here that before becoming a debauchee, better take counseling. Very important. Many more things are there. We can discuss on this, but uh, time is short. We'll get into the next one, seventh, seventh one. What were the six things that we'll discuss? Marana, Kirtana, Eli, Prekshana, Guya Bhashana, eh? Sankalpa. And now seventh one is Devasayaha. Devasayaha means to endeavor. Now the person is endeavoring. Now he is going to endeavor. Endeavor to indulge in sexual activity. The best endeavor that we can see in the Shastra is by Bilba Mangal Thakur. Next level ka endeavor tha, ekdam next level. His father Shraddha is going on. He is abandoning that. It is a rainy day and he is going out on a rainy day just to meet the prostitute Chintamani. The rivers are flooded. There is no boat. But he catches a dead body to go across the river because the house of the prostitute was on the next, next side, other side. There's, all the doors are closed. The fence is all there and the main gate is closed. And Bilba Mangal Thakur holding a snake, he crosses the fence. Endeavor to meet Chintamani. Endeavor. Very, very important to understand. This is again a very deadly situation. Now he's endeavoring. And how can we see this endeavor? When say a boy is again and again approaching a girl, trying to touch her in whatever ways. Now in the, in the devotee association, obviously wherever we have space, we, we have proper uh, space for girls and boys separate, Matais and Prabhupadis. But there are times standing in the Prasadam line or it's a crowded festival. One has to be very careful that not go close. There is no question of going and touching the opposite gender. There is no question. Yes. No accidental touch also. We have to make distance proper. Very, very important. And uh, people should be educated. I was in a house program. After the class, the Mataji came to talk. So I am here and this Mataji is here. Prabhuji, I want to talk to you. I said, okay, come, talk. Because everyone was there around. So now she came like this. I went behind. I put a wall. There was a wall. And she's coming. I said, stop. What is the need of coming so close? Stop from there. <laughs> Literally, I was going to wall. <laughs> so, this is a very important thing that we have to maintain distance. This is a sign of endeavor. Huh? Purposely going and doing it, it's a sign of endeavor. Anytime anyone is found doing like that, they have tough time from authorities like us. We don't leave that person. What is solution? Solution is. Better to have a better association, very, very important. To have a very, very good, strict association of devotees. When we're in a very nice association of devotees, even if we're talking about such things, or let's say we have nice fixed up devotees as friends, and say they find us doing all this, they'll catch us and beat us nicely. Because authority is pure. But in front of friends, maybe we might uh, get into all this. At that time, if you have nice strict association of devotees, they'll say, Oh, kya kar rahe? Aaja. Achha nahi lagta hai sab. what you're doing? Come back. And at times, devotees might not be very much eager. Sadhakas might not be interested to do all this, but what to do? Mode of passion takes over, and maybe the person might get into all this. And also, austerity is very, very important. So, austerity is like fasting. All these things will help. All these things will help to get rid of uh, this mode of endeavor to commit sinful activity, that is illicit sex. There are many good examples where Lord Shiva, even when the other lady was coming close, it is described Lord Shiva was meditating and Parvati came there and she was touching the genitals of Lord Shiva and Lord Shiva was not hesitating. He is Dhira. Haridas Thakur was sitting and chanting and prostitute is coming and she is showing her various body parts. But Haridas Thakur was not hesitating. He was chanting the holy names. But since, okay, let me ask, how many of you are Dehra this category? Yes. 
हमारा तो विकेट ऐसे ही उड़ जाएगा <laughs> इतना सब जरूरत ही नहीं है मतलब यस अपना लेवल बहुत लो है वेरी वेरी लो लेवल देर फोर वन शुड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर आई एम अधीरा देर फोर आई आई शुड बी वेरी वेरी केयरफुल ऑफ मेंटेनिंग डिस्टेंस दिस सेवेंथ वन दैट इज एंडेवरिंग दैट इज ध्यावसाय ध्यावसाय एंड यर द लास्ट वन इज क्रिया निवृत्ति actually engaging in sexual activity this is the last stage actually getting into illicit sexual activity we have the example of indra indra and ahalya so indra finally got into a sexual activity with ahalya this comes in the description ramayan so you see now getting into sexual even indra is a devotee why is he doing all this so it's not that uh, sadhaka will not get into this activity never we should think ki bah main to aisa nahi karunga main to prabhu ji ka bharosa nahi hai lekin main to aisa nahi karunga that's very very important to note never feel over confident on oneself one should be always very humble saying kuch bhi ho sakta hai kabhi bhi especially grahastha devotees all the ones are aspiring to be grahasthas it's very natural that uh, the couple will come to our home we'll invite them for lunch dinner whatever then we'll talk to the opposite gender we will talk to his wife or whatever and then when that talk goes intimate or whatever and say the visit starts happening without the husband and here the wife is not there at home what will happen very dangerous i have told all my grahastha counselors never ever dare to do this and i personally if i have to visit some devotee's house and say only mata ji is there at home uh, we don't go and say if at all i have to go i'll take some brahmachari with me there's no question of doing this yes very very important especially those devotees who want to get married this is a very important thing and this kriya nivritti will naturally happen naturally happen and boy see nat- girls i mean females they want to take shelter and the mood of the men is to give shelter so now when we are talking to some opposite gender mata ji and we are giving promises and this and that i'll take care of you etc etc when the talk i'm talking about the last stage now that lady will surrender सर्वधर्मान परित्यज्य प्रभु दिस वॉट कृष्णा इज टोल्ड इन एटीन चैप्टर श्लोक बट आई नो यू कैनॉट रिली मे ऑल सेंस सरेंडर बिकॉज शी इज सीकिंग फॉर शेल्टर देर फॉर दिस लास्ट डे इज वेरी वेरी डेंजरस सो डोंट एंड एवर टू प्रॉमिस विन द ट्रस्ट ऑफ दैट लेडी और वॉट एवर बी फॉर दर इज नो नीड टू डू ऑल दिस एंड स्पेशली दंस ऑफ गेटिंग मैरिड and say the friend of yours husband wife they have got some issue amongst themselves and then you are taking a chance there and going and talking to that lady and making promises don't worry everything will be fine and she is saying prabhu ji aap hi mujhe bacha sakte hain ha main hi bachaunga tumhe it's all nonsense and you know what these are not some hypothetical case studies huh? whatever i am speaking i'm just not taking names that's it So what is the solution? Solution is don't engage in illicit sexual activity. That will trouble one's own health, mentally also, physically also. Control the senses, mind, and activities by doing devotional service. If you are properly engaged in the activities of devotional service, there is no question of getting into illicit sexual activity. So these are the eight types of illicit sexual activity. Eight types we have discussed today. All of them are illicit sexual activity. I said that only if you get into sexual activity is called illicit sex. All these eight are called as illicit sexual activity. First one means contemplation. When we contemplate on the opposite gender or some sexual activity, that is called as maranam. Second, kirtanam. When you come in a group and start glorifying some opposite gender or start discussing about sexual activity, that discussion itself is illicit sex. Third, keli. flirting with opposite gender <laughs> glorifying just with the mood of sex that also comes in the category of illicit sex four <laughs> seeing prekshanam so when you're seeing the opposite gender just seeing with a lustful eye that also comes in illicit sexual activity all the ones who are working in the office be very careful ye to bahut ordinary hoga aapko ke liye be very careful five fifth Speaking confidentially to the opposite gender. 
and there are various ways to do that not just physically talking we can call also we can message also by the way i'm not giving ideas how to do it i'm saying how not to do it okay some people are already sleeping in the class no they don't care kya idea the provision bas dekh lo ye to mujhe pata hi nahi tha so today i'm saying no one is sleeping <laughs> no one is sleeping not even for a moment hmm? okay next one sankalpa that is sixth one sankalpa determination to engage in sexual activity seventh dhyavasaya that is endeavoring for sex and the last one eighth is kriya nivritti actually engaging in sexual activity so these are the eight illicit sexual activities which every single person is supposed to avoid brahmacharis must unmarried people must the married ones must they have to be chased to their partner there is no question of anything doing apart from one's own partner there is no question so basically this is valid for everyone everyone in the entire society of krishna consciousness one point which i would like to make and conclude today's discussion see if devotees they practice this purity at all the levels mind speech body and they are immersed in krishna consciousness at the level of mind speech body such an association or such a group of people they will have the power to influence the entire world if you really want to do some service for this mission of krishna consciousness mission of shila prabhupal more than preaching we have to maintain our purity it's not that i am all pure i am reminding myself when i was making notes as contemplating that uh, how i can improve myself so when we improve ourselves when we maintain that purity you will see we will be the powerful personalities and we will have the power to go and destroy anyone's materialism we will have that power and pull that person to devotional service only a few group, few devotees also come together and they practice the strong mood of purity at the level of mind speech and body that group of devotees they are the asset to his god the others who are sinful in their practice they are going to be a liability they are going to be the ones who are going to create problems in this god therefore it's very important that all of us meditate on this one point and ask this question that do i won't want to be a good instrument in the hands of shila prabhupada to render service for this mission or do i want to be a very defective instrument which will spoil the mission this is the question that we have to ask and surely the answer should be i want to be the best instrument and if we become a nice instrument in the hands of guru and krishna our life is successful there's nothing more to do more than this thank you very much grantar shrimad bhagavatam ki jagat guru shri la prabhupada ki jai